Good afternoon. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Captain Courtney Sullivan, your narrator for this afternoon ceremony. Welcome to the 9th Air Force, Air Force Central Change of Command Ceremony. The presiding official for today's ceremony is General Eric Carrilla, Commander, United States Central Command. This afternoon, Lieutenant General Alexis G. Grigorich, Commander, Knight Air Force, Air Force Central, will relinquish command to Lieutenant General Derek C. France. We are honored to have a number of distinguished guests in attendance this afternoon. We would ask that you hold your applause until all guests are recognized. His Excellency, Dr. Khalid bin Mohammed al Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of State for Defense Affairs, the Honorable Jean-Baptiste Saber, the French Ambassador to Qatar. The Honorable Timmy Davis, the United States Ambassador to Qatar. The Honorable Lothar Frischlader, the German Ambassador to Qatar. Staff Brigadier General Pilot Mohammed Haysat, Commander of the Royal Jordanian Air Force. Major General Talal Suleiman al -Gandhi. Deputy Commander of the Royal Saudi Air Force. General Stefan Hill, Chief of Staff of the French Air and Space Force. Vice Admiral Emmanuel Slars, Alan Dian. Vice Admiral George Wickoff, Commander of the United States Naval Forces Central Command. Mrs. Shannon Grigowicz, wife of Lieutenant General Grigowicz. Mr. Justin Grigowicz, son of Lieutenant General Grigowicz. Mr. Sergio Orlando Sandoval Rivera, friend of Lieutenant General Grigowicz. Ms. Sofia Alejandra Sandoval Prasad, friend of Lieutenant General Grigowicz. Lieutenant Colonel Retired Jim France, father of Lieutenant General France. Mrs. Amanda France, wife of Lieutenant General France. Ms. Erin, Ms. Maggie, and Ms. Clara, the children of Lieutenant General Franz. We also welcome all commanders, chiefs, regional coalition partners, and the men and women of the Knight Air Force, Air Forces Central, who are in attendance tonight, and those who have joined us virtually from across the globe. Please give them a round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of the official party and remain standing for the rendering of honors, the presentation of the colors, the Qatari National Anthem, followed by the United States National Anthem, played by the Qatari National Band and the Safety Band, and the invitation.
rights, will you please offer the invocation? Good afternoon. As we continue to change the command ceremony, we will provide a moment of silence to pray and reflect in accordance with your own faith traditions and customs. So all of the more general blessing. So please join me in a moment of silence. Prayer is part of the tradition. I invite you to join me in this time of prayer. Almighty God, today we gather to ask the blessings from the ten general privilege and his family to meet their two lovers for his adventures at their next assignment. We thank you for his family who has supported and encouraged us along the journey throughout this assignment, and we ask that their next assignment be a blessing to all of them. We also ask for blessings on the ten general friends as he assumes command. As he assumes command, we ask for the discernment and wisdom. We ask also your blessings on this family to protect them, provide for them, encourage them to call the family to serve the part for a Bless them and reunite them soon. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Salam Alaikum. Your Excellency Timothy Davis, Ambassador of the United States. General Farrell, my friend Eric. Commander U.S. Central, Your Excellency, Ambassadors and Distinguished Guests, welcome to the absent change of command ceremony. Thank you for joining us on this occasion. It is a pleasure hosting the change of command ceremony, and it's a pleasure to have you here in such a beautiful country and a beautiful world. General Gagnich, we would like to thank you for the exceptional role, and I see as, as an example, building our relationship. Keeping peace and security in this important region, and it's important because we love it. We love this region, and we try our best to work together to make it important and calm. Leading the JR Congress, General, we thank you and wish you a good luck for your new assignment in the Pentagon. The job here is our day. Lieutenant General Franz, the new assistant commander, welcome to Qatar in your new home at our day base. We look forward to take our relationship to the next level. I would like to assure everyone of Qatar's commitment toward the joint efforts promote security and stability in the region. Thank you everyone for joining us today for this occasion as we welcome the new absent commander Lieutenant General Derek Franz and we wish you a good luck for the three years to come. Now I'd like to present uh, something for uh, General Rambush. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency. Ladies and gentlemen, the presiding official for today's ceremony, the Commander, United States Central Command, General Perilla. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. To our gracious Qatari hosts, Father College, Muhammad al and General Solomon, Ahmad Abdul Muhammad, a special thank you for hosting us in your home and your steadfast partnership that is so important to all that you do across the region. To our distinguished guests, colleagues, friends, family, chiefs of defense, ambassadors, diplomats, there are many partners across many nations. Thank you for all your support. As you look out at this audience, surrounded by representatives of our component commands, partners, allies, and friends, I'm reminded of how important these partnerships are our collective success. This is what makes us different. When our adversaries rely on transactional relationships that they exploit in return, the deep friendships that are represented here today are our collective advantage. Thank you for joining us today to honor two great officers, Alex Drench Gregory and Derek Trapper Grants, to celebrate this amazing team of Air Force professionals. I'd like to start by recognizing two amazing Air Force families. Today, Rich's wife Shannon and his son Justin, Trapper's wife Amanda and their three daughters, Erin, Maddie, and Clara, thank you for your unwavering support and commitment for these two leaders and the area they serve. Those of us who are in the uniform were called for this. We serve our people to defend our way of life by wearing the cloth of the nation to sacrifice some of the things that mean the most of us in this American experiment to survive at least one more generation. But our families also serve, and often their sacrifice and their service cannot be overlooked. In the military, we know that some of us use four-letter words, but probably the most important one is home. Our families are our home, and while we are away, we think of it, and we think of the things that keep us going during our most difficult days. Thank you to both French and the French families for all that you do for the government and those who serve. How about a round of applause for those families? <laughs> Another team that has consistently answered the call is AFSEN. Our ninth Air Force has participated in some of the most historic air campaigns in modern history, and their exploits are legendary. From Desert Storm, Iraq, Afghanistan, leading the fight against Daesh, Afsan has set the standard for air power for more than four years. In fact, in the past few days, the airmen across this command raised the bar yet again, delivering a resounding defeat to an unprecedented, dangerous, and reckless Iranian attack to the state of Israel. Synchronizing the efforts across the international team with fighter aircraft, tankers, maintenance crews, integrated From the main government crews, Texas keeping the integrated combat turns in record time, while the style of the missile fire, the pilots developing and executing new tactics in real time and in contact. There are too many firsts for us to mention here today. Your work is now done. We continue to work with all our partners. 
seed of friction and drive change. In these past two years, Bridges had been sick and has been the command pilot for the absent team. From the moment Bridges took command, he prioritized his people, building upon an already high performing organization by creating a culture built on values, trust, and professional excellence. An organization that does what's right for the right reasons. An organization that responds to our nation's call and adjusts to change when needed. This is an impressive endeavor for any commander, but as French will tell you, the true measure of any commander's success is not how well they perform, but how well the force performs. It's how the people respond during times of crisis. It's how they answer the call. Rich also excelled at working with other partners. One of his priorities was to value everyone and their contribution, to include our partners. He built strong relationships with his counterparts, built a remarkable team across the region. There is no more tangible example of this than our joint regional air chiefs. Over the past six months of crisis across the region, the joint regional air chiefs have been a shining example of where our goals of regional integration the JRAC has served and saved lives on multiple occasions, and even in the most difficult days, the team has held the watch. Rich has created a true combined headquarters in the chaos, where our partnerships are vital to the success of both day-to-day -day operations and those in crisis. This team has not only led the way in combat, they have built a culture of innovation that has driven change across the joint force. Rich directed the members of Task Force 99 Absence Innovation Task Force to run until apprehended. They have led the way in the development of low cost and long duration unmanned reconnaissance platforms, and they have taken the reins of our targeting process and systems, harnessing the power of our joint all domain command control, layering some artificial intelligence, and applying their creativity and ingenuity to take what is an exceptional system and turn it into the gold standard across all department and effects. Early on, I challenge the team to achieve the processing of over a thousand dynamic targets in a day. And I'll admit, I didn't know if we could get there. Grinch and the absent team went to work and flew right past it. Trevor, keep that in mind for the next challenge to get your team. But don't worry, I'm sure you'll get there. Grinch is leaving behind an incredibly large legacy, but I'm certain the Air Force found the right person to follow in your footsteps. Best of luck in DC. We will serve as a center of the joint staff. With a little bit of a side hustle as the joint staff director of operations. You're the perfect person for the job. We're fortunate to have another focused, determined, and dedicated leader to take this team over the next horizon. Lieutenant General Derek Trapper France has demonstrated his ability over three decades. Though he's coming in absent after serving as commander of Air Force's third Air Force Command Side, Trapper arrives to the brand. Is no stranger to the CENTCOM AOR and the absent team. He previously commanded the three Air Expeditionary Union Helicopter UAE and is the Deputy Detachment Commander and Instructor Pilot in the Saudi, Royal Saudi Air Force Fighter Women's School. He has served as the CENTCOM Deputy J3, so our team knows him well. Trapper is a right leader who brings depth, experience, and care to one of the most complex security situations in the world. Trapper can't wait to see you take this team in the days and weeks to come. And as Rich has never known how to pull you, we'll talk pretty often. Welcome to the team. Finally, I want to close by thanking the men and women of Air Force Central Command, both here in Shaw Air Force Base, for everything you do to defend our homeland and our way of life. You live out the oath that we swear, and you embody the very best of us. Thank you for what you do with our partners, the thank you for the countless hours you have spent here on the ground. What you do on a daily basis matters. The same down to our allies, to our partners around the region, and to our nation. Thank you. Thank you, General Carrillo. Ladies and gentlemen, the outgoing commander, Lieutenant General Alexis Grinkowicz. There are only a few inviolable rules of military.
is the role of the outgoing mayor is to be brief, be brilliant, and be gone. So I won't take long. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, excellencies, ambassadors, uh, chiefs of defense, air chiefs, uh, friends and partners from Air Forces across the region, and distinguished guests and Lieutenant Airmen of Casa. Uh, I say to you before you leave, but keep sense of credit to the privilege of having to
We couldn't do this without all of our coalition partners and the senior national reps that are here today and the senior leaders who uh, represent them. Uh, the sacrifices of the entire joint and combined team have not gone unnoticed. So we're executing precision airstrikes, providing crucial logistics support, or engaging with our local communities here in the region. This dynamic period is not slowing down, and I appreciate all of your dedication. As General Frank takes the helm, I'll just say I could not be happier to hand over this command to such a tremendous officer and a tremendous family. Shannon and I have known Amanda and Trevor for several years. Uh, we've flown together, we've commanded uh, side by side, uh, and he and his family are absolutely incredible and you're in tremendous hands. So Trevor, congratulations to you and Amanda. The challenge is ahead may be formidable, but I have no doubt that from Trevor's leadership, they are in the best and will keep them with the same information and commitment find our last two years together and the last two decades of heritage to that. So stay strong, stay focused, continue to make us proud. I've got every, uh, every confidence that you'll emerge with for us. Thank you. The change of command is a traditional event. Key to the ceremony is the passing of the unit's colors. The colors are the commander's symbol of authority, representing the responsibilities to the organization. The passing of the colors symbolizes the transfer of command responsibility and authority from the old commander to the new. The 9th Air Force, Air Force's Central Senior Enlisted Leader, Command Chief Sergeant Master, Command Chief Master Sergeant, Katie Grabo is the custodian of the colors. When the colors are not displayed for the commander, they are in the care of the command senior enlisted leader. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the official change of command. Sir, permission to publish the order. Attention to orders. According to Special Order G-24-04, effective 18 April 2024, by direction of the President of the United States, Lieutenant General Alexis G. Grigowicz relinquishes command to Lieutenant General Derek C. France, effective 18 April 2024.
Thank you so much.